Okay, I saw this problem on the internet. I want to again point out that there's a link over here to watch somebody else do the problem. Um, certainly the way I do something, the way, they, the way other people do things, certainly there are similarities, but there are going to be differences. And this is what I want to encourage you to look at other people do work, um, you know, whether they're colleagues, friends, uh, people on the internet, a textbook, whatever. Look at how other people do problems. I'm going to go to the whiteboard, and what I'm going to do is write the problem down, and I'm going to go through it as I proceed it. Now, um, when I proceed, I'm going to just copy the problem down. I, I certainly wouldn't do that, but I'm going to copy this over here. And I'll go through what I would do in the problem. And that's 81 to the x equals 81. The first thing I do is I realize that everything looks like it's a power of 3. So 81 I'd write down as 3 to the fourth power. And why is that? 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81. And then I'd write every single um, factor over here as a power of 3. And 9 is going to be 3 squared, so this will be 3 to the 2x. And again, we just did 81, so this is going to be 3 to the 4x. Now, here comes the part where a lot of people get confused. I, I'm, I'm taking the square roots of these things, all right? So let me just do it one step at a time. This is 3 to the 4th power. This is 3 to the x. The root of. This is 3 to the 2x. And the root of 3 to the 4x um, is going to be 3 to the 2x. All right, let me keep rewriting. This is 3 to the x, and inside that radical is going to be 3. Add the x ones together, you get 4x. What I'm going to do now, 3 to the x. The square root of 3 to the 4x is 3 to the 2x. And that's 3 to the 4, though. All right, let's keep moving. What do you get over here? Well, this is the part where I'm sort of bogging down about taking roots. x and 2x is 3x, and that's 3 to the 4th power. I do want to remove the root symbol, though. And what's going to be 3 to the 3x over 2 is going to be 3 to the 4. What do I know about this? The exponents have got to be equal. Let's put that down now. So 3 to the x over 2 is equal to 4. Multiply both sides by 2. You get 3x equals 8. And then divide both sides by 3, and you get 8 thirds. And we are done. Thank you.